boys and girls, it's Miss Becky. I'm here with another exciting Bible story for us this week. It's a brand new month, so that means we have a new memory verse to learn. Are you ready to learn our memory verse together? All right, I'll say it first and then you can say it after me. Are you ready? Give me a big thumbs up if you're ready. All right, our memory verse says, nothing at all can separate us from God's love, Romans 8, dot, dot, 39. All right, are you ready to try it with me? Here we go. Nothing at all can separate us from God's love, Romans 8, dot, dot, 39. Isn't that a wonderful memory verse, boys and girls? It's so amazing to know that God loves us so much that there's nothing that can separate us from God's love. And that's what we're going to learn about today. So, if you haven't already, find yourself a cozy spot that you can sit down and listen to our Bible story. Our story, we know when we read a story in the Bible, what do we know about it? We know that it's true. So our true story from the Bible this week comes from the very, very beginning of the Bible. In the very first book called Genesis and the very first chapter. We're going to read Genesis 1 verse 26. All right. So boys and girls, tell me. Who made the whole wide world? Do you remember? God did, that's right. Who made all the animals? Do you remember who made the animals? God made the animals, that's right. God made all the trees and all the bugs and all the birds and all the fish that swim in all the oceans. God made everything. But the Bible tells us that there was one thing that God made that was very, very special. More special than everything else that God had made. Do you know what that very, very special thing was? It was you and me. God made people. And God made us to be so special. God made all kinds of people, and we're all special, and we're all unique. We all have different types of hair, and maybe different colors of skin, different colors of eyes. I have blue eyes. What color are your eyes? God made some of us to be very tall, and some people to be very, very tiny. And God made some of us who are very good at sports, I know some of you like to play baseball or to dance or play soccer. God made some people that are very good at art. They paint and they draw and they sculpt. God made some people who are very, very smart. Some people who like to read lots of books. God made some people who can run super, super fast. And you know what? God made every one of us special and unique and one of a kind. There's nobody else that is just exactly like you. Do you know why God made us all so very special? God made us special because God loves us so very much. Isn't that wonderful, boys and girls? God made you and God loves you. And that's our bottom line this month. When I ask you, who made you? I want you to say, God made me. Can you do that with me? Who made you, boys and girls? God made you. That's right. So all this week, I want you to think about the wonderful ways that God made you and how God loves you so very much. All right, we're going to pray together. And remember, when we pray, we're talking to God. And God can hear us from wherever we are. So while I pray, I want you to pray with me. Now remember, usually when we're in small group time and we pray, we'll tell our small group leader what our prayer request is. But you may not be with your small group.
small group leader right now. So what I want you to do, and we do this sometimes on Wednesday nights, so you should be familiar. I want you to take your hand and I want you to whisper into your hand whatever you want to tell God. Are you ready? Okay, did you catch it in your hand? All right, and while Miss Becky is praying, I want you to open up your hand and give your prayer need to God, and God will hear you, and God will help us. All right, are you ready, boys and girls? All right, dear God, I thank you so much that you love us. I thank you, God, that you created us and that you made every one of us to be special and unique. I thank you that, um, you love all of us, that you love all of the boys and girls at Kid Point Junior. You love their grown-ups and their families. You love all of our Kid Point leaders. And God, I thank you that you are with us even um, when we don't get to be together. So God, we give you all of our prayer requests. We give you all of our needs. We give you all the things that make us worry or afraid. And we thank you, God, that you hear us. We love you, Jesus. Be with all of my Kid Point Junior friends this week. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, boys and girls, I sure do miss you, and I can't wait until I get to give all of you a great big hug. But until then, I hope you're having lots of fun with your family. Make sure you're going, have your grown-ups go online so you can watch the Ollie videos. All right, love you guys. We'll see you soon.